explain what Five Free Sakaar is. So, Hakar in vanilla is the last boss of ZG. And whenever you do ZG, each one of these priests empower Hakar. So by killing each one of them, you take away what he empowers them with. So High Priestess Jeklik, Vinoxus, Marley, Thakal, and Arlok all add an additional mechanic to Hakar on top of his like three base mechanics to give him like eight mechanics. And it becomes crazy hard and it gives him like 500k bonus health or something crazy like that. It's like a BFA mythic fight in classic. It's, it's completely absurd. It's super, super difficult. And allegedly, uh, nobody has ever actually completed it in retail vanilla. People have done it on private servers and stuff, but it, that doesn't really count. I saw count. a video of, of a guild doing it, but I don't know how that happened. As far as we know, legitimately, the best attempt was Ian has a Kostas guild, got him to 1%. Elitist jerks back in vanilla. Uh, there's really nothing else that it drops, right? It would have been data mined, but it would be cool if they made it drop something that was a super, super rare that like nobody knew about. All right, I'm gonna zone in. Let's get to work. Let's go left. Follow me. What are we doing here? This is where we can jump. So we jump. You guys explain the fights? Uh, well, we, we'll explain all the mechanics of this fight again in a second. It's only one fight. Like we're trying to do, look how, like, look how big and beefy he is. You see that? He basically has like bonus like 400, 500k health. I don't know exactly how much. I, I, I think it's something like 100k more health for every boss. It's a lot. Yeah, he's got like a lot more health and then he's got five more mechanics. There's no chance? Yeah, there's probably not a chance, but we're gonna try our best. Okay. Wait, what? Brain hacker? Is it brain hacker? It's brain hacker. We're right next to the boss. Congratulations. So here are the five specific mechanics to Hakar. One, there's AOE damage in an eight second silence that goes out periodically. Everybody come back here. Our range is gonna stand here and we're gonna try and tank a car. We're gonna tank a car on the corners here. The next mechanic is a poison that goes out that does a lot of damage and that needs to be cleansed. He does 150% more attack speed. That's just base, normal thing. He does a six hand stun. Whenever he stuns you, he's gonna go to this guy's second on, on threat, which is the same as the mind control, except it's a stun instead of a mind control. And then the last thing is a two second gouge. And this is the one that's really dangerous because the two second gouge is a complete threat wipe. Everybody else, let's run over to the other side and let's get in position. Yeah, only only the melee and tanks should be here. Everyone okay. except for a healer should get a health flash. Yeah, ranged and healer should all be down there. All the melee and tanks should be up here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop flash with Titans. Is he bigger? I'm pretty sure he's bigger. Yeah, he is. Let's go ahead and pull. Coasters, you go ahead and pull. I vote you pull. Go ahead. On you, we're pulling, guys. Does everyone have Thunder right now? Yeah, everybody has it. If you don't have it, then you're behind and you shouldn't be pulling flash right now. Okay, uh, that was a- Tank fell down. Okay, that was not a good start. Let's go Just ahead and- reset the Let's boss. go ahead and reset and try again. All right. Guys, listen, can we just have the tank standing right here? <laughs> okay, we're gonna be fine. It's okay, things happen. Let's just do it again. So the idea is that we tank the boss in a position to where melee can still be within LOS of the healers or range of the healers while still simultaneously, we have another fucking son of a car. Um, don't kill it here. Cause we're gonna like kill it over there in the corner. They kill it over here, so so the we don't, we don't so the poison doesn't you know. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go ahead and pull. We got this. Pride okay, and I'm, and I'm gonna run uh, Seal of Wisdom for the casters. Wait, does this work? Will we not get poisoned? Uh... Here, we did that. Tush kid is dead already. Holy crap. Okay, now coaster. Okay, now I have. Uh, now I have. 
Okay, now Snurk's got aggro. All right, go ahead and let's just get a red one, Touche, and reset this again. Okay. Why did Touche die? Let's go ahead and look at why Touche died. I, I will res him, please. Attack a car. Attack a car. So we have... He went four seconds without a, a heal. Yeah, he didn't get a heal for four seconds. We need to practice just the mechanics because apparently people can't figure them out. Yeah. All right, we ready? Not a bad start, to be honest. I bop Snurks. I bop Snurks. I bop Snurks. He's gonna run back. He reset. Oh, I reset already. Do it again. Okay. Reset. So that was hard. a really great attempt. So let's talk about some of the things that we need to be able to improve, especially on melee. A problem that we're gonna have if we don't have a third person to get threat, because if the ranged DPS has threat meter, they just need to make sure that there's at least one person above them at all, or at least two people above them about, at all times. Ranged DPS don't attack until we have the first MC. That's probably gonna be enough. To be honest, that was a really good attempt. Nobody even died. So let's talk about melee positioning. That's fine. How much knacks have you done? Uh, the whole thing. A lot. What about How it? well do you know Saffron? Pretty well. Do you attack him through the blocks? Uh, no, whenever the blocks happen, we'd all go out of range and wait for it. Okay, well, basically the way it works is that if you auto attack a boss, even if you're out of line of sight, if you're still auto attacking him, many of his mechanics still go through line of sight and will hit you if you're auto attacking him, even whenever they're not necessarily supposed to apply to you already. So on Saffron, if you auto attack Saffron through through the ice blocks that are created during his uh, air phase, he still kills you with the ice nova. But if you don't auto attack him and he's standing in the exact same place, he does not kill you with the ice nova. This functions the exact same way. Uh, if you auto attack a car through this wall, he will apply aspect of Vinoxus. So that means we're not going to do any attacks at all as melee until the first aspect debuff goes out. And we'll know that by seeing it go on coasters. Well, yeah, and the same thing happens. Uh, so whenever I was leveling in uh, Westfall, I noticed this too with like the pillagers. Because you can hit them, uh, yeah. you can hit them through the wall. But as soon as you back off, was if you were up, like a able to hit them at all. But are you sure it's like if you're not attacking at all, it's gonna be like that? Yes. So, I'm so sure. if I just stop, if I just stop attacking, I'm not gonna get hit with the poison. You have to move back and forth out of line of sight and then back in. Oh, okay. So you still have to move out. Okay. But still, that's good to know because all we have to do is this. But yeah, on. don't attack. Okay, attack. We might parry haste. This could be bad. Okay, yeah. now it goes to coasters. See this? Look how perfect this is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll go ahead and bring him back, Touche. Oh no, that's so bad. This position isn't going to work. Okay, wait to DPS. Okay, uh, 
coasters is dead. Yeah. Turn Just keep going. That's right, that's it. I got no. Okay, reset. Yeah, I just reset it. That was re that was our longest pull we ever done. Yeah, it was. How low did we get him to? I didn't even look at his health. He was about like eighty percent or something like that. That's that's the best pull. A couple of things went wrong. I mean, like we need to have dispels. Yeah. You have to dispel yourself before you bandage. No, the reason why I bandaged before I dispelled myself is because I was silenced and I was just trying to get one tick in, so the poison didn't kill me. Yes, yeah, so we now this, we're doing Hakar Five Priest. If you don't know, if you don't know what it is, go look it up. It's never been done before. Let's just let's just pull again. Let's pull again. Same strat. Turn him okay. We're doing it, dude. Really good. Keep it up. Okay. If if Roy if if, if Roy gets aggro, uh, Coasters has it. Okay. Okay. Roy, run up so I can bump you. So I can bump you. Nah, that's not gonna work. You're set. Well, that was the best attempt. That was really good. We had a really good pull there, especially in terms of the way that we handled tanking. Like, tanking there really worked well. Yeah, I thought that was really good. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I just quote, pledge your allegiance to Hakar, and the pain you suffer shall be minimal, and there's, it's not in Google. Hold on, did a GM just whisper me as Hakar to mess with me on the PTR? What the fuck? I think a GM just whispered me. I quote searched it, pledge your allegiance to Hakar, and the pain you suffer shall be minimal. There's never... What it totally fuck? did, dude. Somebody's messing with me, dude. That is so, I was like, I've never seen this. I was like, Googled it. It happens? I've never gotten this whisper. I've never gotten the I'm, whisper I'm before. looking it up, man. I don't know. I've never gotten the whisper before. Can you whisper him back? No, it's not a player. It's not a player. Oh, yeah, fuck you, Hakar, man. <laughs> yeah. Why can't we taunt you? Try kneeling. That was good. That was funny. What happened to Crusade? Oh, man. Crusade, the guild blew up. I deleted my character and created a new character, renamed him as FanDR. Uh, got all the way to 60 and got a Thunder Fury and a Hand of Rag. That's what happened. So I joined another guild called Good Vibrators. Whoa, I just got another whisper. Hakar's mom, you be nice to my son. Do you hear me? Don't make me call your principal. I want to play the original before. Oh, coasters, I'm sorry, dude. Are they doing transfer to Fairlina? I feel I feel like not, but my server level grinding came to a halt recently for a new server to go to. I think Fairlina Alliance, if you want to transfer and play Fairlina Alliance, I think it's a great idea.